Dr. Katz, aren't all mouthwashes basically the same? Uh, not really. Uh, for many years, people thought that if they use a very strong tasting mouthwash, they can mask bad breath. We now know that's not true because many of those very strong tasting mouthwashes contain a great deal of alcohol, some as high as 27% alcohol, which I always say is more alcohol than a whole six pack of beer. Believe me, uh, the beer tastes better. I've been doing the research for many years. Uh, but seriously, we've got uh, alcohol-based mouthwash here, another alcohol-based with a little bit less alcohol. Uh, this one here, for example, uh, contains alcohol, but also something called citalpridinium chloride, uh, which is another antibacterial, but again, it's the alcohol that tends to be a problem. Recently, some companies have come out with non-alcohol, but they actually contain ingredients which still make the mouth very dry, using a lot of artificial colors and flavors, more or less as a marketing tool. So again, um, be very leery of products which have artificial colors and flavors, and they're, they're trying to mask or hide something. And then there are other products you have to mix together, which doesn't make much sense, because why would you want to mix your mouthwash? Who has time for that? When, we, when we're talking about the TheraBreath products, we're talking about oxygenating formulas, patented oxygenating formulas, I may add. Uh, 18 patents on these formulas. Oxygen compounds, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors. Uh, this is the regular strength. Our extra strength is the plus formula, which in addition to the oxygen, for, oxygen formulas uh, has uh, something called Zinc RX in it and tea tree oil uh, to give sort of an extra uh, oomph to it in order to get all types of bad breath taken care of. Correct.